Hey, it's Steve. Some time ago, I did a video on how to calculate what type of resistor to use when you're wiring up your LED lights. Uh, I had a comment on that video suggesting I create an Excel spreadsheet. And so I went ahead and did that. And so I produced uh, basically a PDF file here that has reference tables for wiring one, two, three, or four LEDs in either series or par parallel wiring format. Uh, and I have the table created here uh, that has uh, varying types of LED voltages and amperage ratings, uh, along with varying types of power supplies, ranging from 1.5 volts up to 24 volts. And so here on the screen, you can see for a single LED, uh, you have options for 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, and 3.5 volts uh, for the LED itself, along with 20 and 30 milliamps, which are the most common types of, uh, of uh, power consumption ratings on the LEDs. And so you can go through here and say, for example, for a, for a 12 volt power supply, this first column here is for one and a half volt uh, um, LEDs. And so the first column here is for the 20 milliamp uh, rated ones. And so you can see here, you would need a 525 ohm resistor. Now those don't actually exist. So the next higher up one that you would use would be 560 ohms. Uh, and also it shows what the actual current going through the LED will be. In this case, it'll be 18.8 milliamps with that type of resistor. Um, the power dissipated by the LED will be 28 milliwatts. The power dissipated by the resistor will be 197 milliwatts. And uh, the circuit total power consumption in this case, since there's only one LED, will still be 18.8 milliamps. Now I have the resistor wattage to use as one half watt. Now, if you look here, the power dis dissipated in this case is 197 milliwatts, uh, which is actually 0.197 watts, or it's actually less than a quarter watt. So you can actually use a quarter watt resistor um, in this case, and it would work fine. Now, the issue, though, with the resistor is uh, the closer you are to being sort of at the limit of that resistor uh, wattage rating, uh, you're going to have more heat buildup within the resistor. So a half watt resistor, it is bigger, but by being bigger, it's going to basically allow it to be able to dissipate more energy, and so it will stay cooler. So uh, if you have an environment where you know cooling the resistor is not a problem at all, it's exposed, it's not going to overheat, that kind of thing. In this case here, you could use a quarter watt resistor. Uh, since uh, two, a quarter watt would be 250 milliwatts, uh, which is higher than the 197 milliwatts that, that need to be dissipated by the resistor. And so that would work. But again, I like you generally speaking, if you want to you want to stay below 50 percent of the resistor wattage rating, um, if you're going to be in any type of enclosed environment. So if it's going to be placed inside of like a box a container that has no cooling in there that's small and might get hot, uh, you're going to basically want to go to a higher wattage resistor, assuming you have the space for it, uh, if at all possible. And that will just ensure a longer life. It may still work fine um, with a quarter watt for a very long time, but if you go with a higher wattage rating on the resistor, uh, you have much less uh, likelihood of it failing at some point down the road uh, because of you know wear down from overheating and so forth. So anyway, you can kind of go through here and look at different combinations. I also have uh, if you have two LEDs in parallel, you can go through and look at the same thing. If, if the table says NA, that basically means you can't power those LEDs with that uh, particular power supply. Obviously, if you're trying to power two LEDs in series, you would need the supply of three volts. And if you're not supplying that um, with, with enough energy, you're just not going to be able to light those LEDs effectively. So here, in this case here, it's three LEDs in parallel, the same thing, um, four LEDs in parallel. And then I have combinations of two LEDs in series and what that would look like in the wiring diagram there. Uh, and then three and four LEDs in series as well. So if you have four LEDs in series and they're H 1.5 volts, you're going to need six volts just at a minimum to supply that. And usually you need more than that. And so really your, your base uh, power supply would need to be seven volts or more typically a nine volt battery kind of setup or a 12 volt power supply that you might typically see. And so with a 12 volt power supply, if we're doing them in series, you would need a 300 ohm resistor rated at least a quarter watt uh, to effectively do that. And so when you have them in series, again, it, uh, four LEDs in this case really operates as one single six volt LED uh, as far as a circuit is concerned. And so as a result, you don't need to actually lower the voltage that much compared to say a single LED. And, uh, and certainly uh, that does allow you to use, in this case, a uh, smaller 
or a smaller resistor to supply power for that circuit. However, I would recommend not wiring your LEDs in series. I've done that before. Um, the problem is, especially with the little micro LEDs, there's a high probability at some point one of those will fail. And if one of the LEDs fails in your circuit, your entire, uh, you know, in that case, all four LEDs would fail. Now, if they're wired in parallel, like this diagram here shows, and if one LED fails, the other ones will remain lit. So uh, that's essentially the way you'd want to really wire your LEDs uh, to have sort of maximum reliability. Um, now, typically, uh, in many cases, when you're wiring LEDs, it's really just, you know, the best way to do things is actually just to have uh, this type of single LED type of circuit where you have a resistor for every LED that ensures maximum reliability of your circuit. Um, and so that's usually the best way to go if you're going to do uh, a wiring um, type of setup for, for maximum long-term reliability. Since, uh, you know, if a resistor fails or an LED fails, you're only going to lose one light uh, and not your whole, you know, package of LEDs. If you have them either in parallel or a series, if the resistor fails, all of them are going to fail in terms of the LEDs. So if you wire each LED individually, you're going to have, you know, sort of a maximum um, potential for, for long life and uh, durability for all your LEDs in your circuit. So anyway, this is a quick reference you can use. I have a link to that down here below. Eventually, uh, I may go ahead and put the uh, Excel spreadsheet up as well. Um, again, there's possibly some errors in here. I didn't check everything uh, really closely. I went through and checked a lot of them, but but it's possible I do have some mistakes somewhere in here. So if you do notice a mistake, please comment on, on that below. And I'll go ahead and get the spreadsheet updated and corrected. Uh, put a new PDF file up to have uh, those corrections uh, added in there. Uh, and then again, once, once I'm sure if everything is totally correct, I can, I can go ahead and put up the actual spreadsheet. You can play with it uh, and that kind of thing at some point down the road. But for now, I'll just have the PDF file there. And you can, uh, again, let me know if there's any mistakes that you've noticed here uh, in these calculations. I also have a link below to a couple of websites you can go to to actually calculate uh, you know, the, the resistor and wattage ratings for your resistor that you need for your LED for all kinds of combinations of numbers of LEDs and power supplies and that kind of thing. Um, and so that's really a good place to go to if you're trying to, you know, calculate something custom for your, for your own circuit that you're building, um, it, you know, that might not be on this table, which is kind of a generalized table um, for, you know, only a handful of combinations of LED types and power supplies. So anyway, that's all for this video. I just hope, wanted to share this, let you know that I created this and that it's out there for you to use as a reference. And thanks for watching. Bye.